Welcome back everyone. Okay, let's uh, get some more lighting done. Okay, so I'm going to put a 460 ohm resistors on all those reds, and they will be tied into a flasher circuit, which will make the reds on the tips blink. Okay, so I got um, some heat shrink on there, tying those in together, and on the very ends there, I melted them together. So they'll both get the equal amount of light. Just going to glue these together now. Okay, we got those ready for installation now. I can't quite put those in yet until we get this together okay so you see that little ridge there when you put it on here the light the red led is blocking it from going down so you use my drill and just make a little gouge in there to be able to fit around the led Before those even go together, I still got to drill a hole. The this here with the nose is the bottom of the ring. So I'm gonna drill a hole here to run the wiring down the arms that go down into the stand to the power supply. did a light test on those it works fine now i'm ready to drill a hole right in here which will run down the arm to go down the strut into the base Just need the two with the holes. Um, this in here. Actually, this in here can just run over here and tie into these. And then I gotta run a line from these that tie in to the line over here. And then these other lines, the green and brown ones, would just tie in these ones over here. So I don't need to run them down. So I just need to get the hole drilled here. Tie into here. So this has to be moved. Out of the way for temporarily. Now, drill here and drill there. Using a smaller bit for this one.
got those lines there run. No, nope. got those lines run. So, and I got these all done up here. So these lines here will run down the center of this. But I got to gouge it out a little bit to allow for the wiring to go down. So this two halves fit tight. Okay, so I'm going to get uh, this arm on to that bottom part of the ring here. While that sets there, I'm going to get the holes drilled for the windows in these ships. So I have my previous builds here as a reference I can use to do these. So I'm just going to do marking on the top here for the windows. Just so I know where I'm supposed to drill. And just keep going like that until I get it done. Okay, got those all done there. And on there. Okay, so I got the little bit on there. Let's start drilling.
so I got those all done now. The windows. Looks good. Now, and I uh, trimmed out that for the bridge impulse engine. So that's all done. I just got to do for the main impulse engines here. I just got to flatten the, uh, the plastic out a little bit. So I can get an LED here um, on both sides for those impulse engines. And for the fronts up here, they let it light up. And I'm going to cut all that plastic away for an LED to be here. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, so I'm just going to do the trimming of the plastic here for these impulse engines. I got this special little nib here, the round ball on it, because it's so small. go looks really good all gouged out there I just got to chrome silver all the areas here that I trimmed down that's because you don't want light bleeding through the hull that would not be good same here for the impulse behind the bridge there um, I think for all of this up in here is going to have to be fiber optics. Um, I'm going to have to have a central light source right here. Uh, so I was thinking. If I can have... Like one light source here, have all the fiber optics pointing at it. That'll light up the, all the windows. It'll light up the uh, impulse there. It's supposed to be red, but I'll paint the outside once I get that um, canopy glue in there. Let it set. That'll take care of that. Then the main... Well, I'm going to have one of those strips just down in here, which will light up the entire ship, top, bottom, even out the front there. So that's that lighting is taken care of there. I'm going to have a point here where it's going to come down, uh, which will hook up to the station itself, both a Defiant... And the Cardassian ship have to, uh, so this rod here, I'll, I'll cut it down to size. You can see it's hollow there. If it focuses. Anyway, it's, 
going to be used. So like I'll have a rod coming out probably on the side going to the Defiant and one to the Cardassian ship. I'm not going to do like what most modelers do where the Defiant is docked at the station. It's not going to be like that. It's going to be out getting ready to do battle with the Cardassian ship. So that's the way that's going to work. So I just put this um, intermediate blue on there first, which will help block the light. Then chrome silver over top of that. And that will all be ready to go. Until then, let's get the rest of these arms on here. The glue from the glue gun has squirted it up inside there to help with the adhesion of the arms so they will never break off. There we go. That's not too bad. Got the main lighting here tied into all of these. And over here I got the LEDs tied into these lines here. Looking good. There we go. We got it all chrome silver back again. Looks good. And for the Defiant, we got it even nice here. All done up. Looks good. Not bad. Even on the back here, all the areas for the Defiant will be lit up, just like on the big model. Looks good. Okay, so I'm going to put these in the spots there on either side of the warp engine, but uh, these ridges here, I got to trim those down to be able to let the light through. Okay, 
Okay, so I got uh, LED strip there and there, which is more than enough for lighting up the whole ship. Um, I just needed an opening in the center here for this rod that will run the wiring down into the station. The ships are coming together quite nicely. So I'm going to have the registry lit up on here. I got the, uh, the light that lights up the registry. And on the back there, there's two points of light there. So I got those and two points of light on the sides of the warp engines. Got those. It's just going to take fiber optic lines. You just poke them through. As long as they're pointing at the light source, they'll light up. Uh, let's see, I got the top part of the Kelvin class there on. Just letting that set before I put it in place. These are all ready to go for the lighting. This is looking really good. Okay, with it defined here, it's almost done. I'm just going to tie these in together now. Uh, i got to drill a hole for the um, rod that's going to go in there. Get that glued into place. Well, I can do that after. <clears throat> anyway, get the wiring here, get it running down. I need a fair amount of length. Okay, so I got the rod here. So I'm going to put this. For we have the rod and the, and the interior ring. Probably like that. I think that to find to be here, like it's flying between the uh, pylons, going up to fly up to the Cardassian warship for its altercation. So I'm going to put it uh, probably right about here. Gorilla glue to hold that in place. Cardassian ship. Um, I think I was going to have it the rod for that one off of, coming off the side of one of the pylons. But we'll get to it when we get to it. Right now, I just want this to set. So I'm going to put this off to the side and we can finish off with these smaller models. So right now I'm just going to get these put together, run the wiring outside and get at least the, the uh, model parts here put together.
before I close it up, do a quick light test. Couldn't be any better. Okay, originally I was going to put the lighting strip in the bottom, but I need to run the pole through that. So I'm going to put the lighting strip in the top here, and with all the silver in there, it's going to rebound the light and everything, and it's going to make it look still pretty good. Okay, so I used two of these uh, mini lights there in the bridge area, fiber optic lines in there, 360 ohm resistor on those lights, because if you don't have a resistor, they're gone. And I got them tied into the main lines there. Looks good. Well, that's it for this episode, everyone. In the next one, we are going to be working on the docking arms. And, hopefully, final assembly. Please like, subscribe, comment, don't forget to share, and click that notification bell for any future uploads. See you all again later. Bye-bye.